guys, welcome back to my channel, Real Bride of Chucky. Today, my husband and my sons are making a late night stop to Walmart because Mr. Leo is teething. There's Mr. Leo. Yeah. And I think also Dayton is a little bit too. I think he might be getting his back molars. And so we're going to pick up some teething stuff for him. Look at those chubby cheeks. Yeah. Okay. I know I look horrible, but that's what happens when you make a late night trip to Walmart. Come on, baby. Here's Dayton. Look at baby. <laughs> Say hi. Look at his little outfit and his Pik Pikachu little slippers. You don't need those. Come on. Oh, man. Come on. Come on. Rob, it's going to be in the baby section. What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm looking for... All right. Well, I'm going to head to the baby section. See what options they have. Currently, he is, like, drooling, like, big puddles at the front of his onesie. And then, um, Dan's just been chewing on everything. And for a three-year-old, that's not, like, he doesn't really do that anymore. So I thought that was kind of strange, you know? Okay, let's see. What do they have here? I think these are pacifiers. Um, okay, maybe right here. Let's see. So, oh, can you just take that? All right. So I think that these are really awesome. The Highlands Teething Tablets. Dayton used those and they worked really good for him. So I'll probably get those. Obviously, we have Tylenol. Or a gel instant relief for teething pain. Let me see what that is. Natural. I don't think I've ever used this before. And this one's like open. So that's kind of, I don't know. That's the last one of that and it's open. So I don't know about that. But, um, okay. I think that that's, okay. So we're definitely going to get the teething tablets. Just because I know that those worked for Dean. Every baby's different though. So I'm not exactly sure it will work on him. His two favorite things, Dayton's, were the um, vibrating fruit and these were his favorite. So, and so far, because um, we got Leo when I was pregnant, um, a vibrating teether, just because I knew that worked very well. So I got one of those for Leo, and he does use it. Obviously, he can't hold it yet, so I have to hold it. But, um, yeah, he likes that so far. But I'm trying to find something that's, like, easier. What is he doing? Oh, look it. Look. See, we got one of those for um, $10 on OfferUp. That one's cute. But, like, we have one of those. And we got, a, like, a pretty good deal on OfferUp. So, if you ever need, like, baby stuff, look and see, like, um, what mobile apps you have. They're, like, Craigslist, but better. Because that's how we found ours. And it's kind of like a bumbo, but it has all the fun toys on it. Yeah. 10 bucks is a really good deal. Okay, Rob. I think the other side's going to have, like, the teething toy stuff. We're definitely going to go for the tablets. I think it's this one, The aisle at the end. Oh, maybe it's this one. Okay, yeah, I think it's these. Look, okay. So I hope I can show you because my phone won't go. Oh my gosh, look at this one. <gasps> oh, let me see. Hold that. It's okay, Leo. Look, look, Papa. Look. Can you see where it vibrates? Let me see. Oh, wait. No, that might be good. Okay, so we'll get, grab one of those um, lion little teethers. Okay, let's see. Dayton also had these. I don't know if you can see them. They're the um, keys. Dayton had some of those. So those you can um, freeze. Oh, they have some of these freezing ones, too. The keys are pretty inexpensive, though. Oh, it's okay, Papa. Sorry if I'm shaking it. I'm just trying to get him to calm down. 
Okay. Oh my gosh, look, they made a little li line one. That one goes with the one we have. Relax, baby, relax. Okay, let's see. What were the other good ones? Okay. Hmm. Maybe I should get the freezing teething keys. Either that or these. What what do you think's better? Let's see. They have these two. This one, well, see, this is a thing because also Dayton's teething. This could help for him too, and Leo. So maybe we should get these because you can freeze these too, right? Do they? Okay. So right, we're going to get this, which is a three-step teether. So it's for all teeth, and so this will help Dayton as well. And then the lion one is obviously just, like, something I have to have because, you know, Leo. But also it vibrates, and it's just a little bit different than his um, fruit one. Do they have the one he has? I don't see it. Oh, yeah, they do, right here. He has this. The grape. The grape teether. Okay, so we're going to get these three teething items and see if they work. And when I get home, I'll probably vlog him using them to see, like, how well he likes them. But, yeah, um, if you have any teething tips, I have used, like, the washcloth tip. Like, Dayton used to love that, I remember. Um, oh, my gosh, how cool. Show that, Dayton. Show it. Dayton found this really awesome freaking burger. How cool is that? It's a little burger toy. It's a stacky toy. Oh, I've heard awesome things, Rob. Look how much this thing is. This thing, I'm sure all you mommies have heard of this. This thing is $30. It's a teether. $30. Is that crazy? Oh my goodness. Dan wants to show you guys this cracked egg thing. All right, well these, maybe Leo will get these in the future, baby. They're new. Okay. All right, well, oh, all right. I'm going to pause it here and probably go look for something for Dayton. Baby, put that back. That's more for Leo's age. Rob, let's go see if they have, like, a surprise blind bag or something. Because, you know, Dayton loves his blind bags. All right, come on. Actually, I'll just film it. Let's go look. Give me a hand. All right. I love Walmart. But Target's my favorite. But Walmart's obviously cheaper. So, who doesn't like that? No. <laughs> okay. Boys should always say, "Welcome to China." No, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> what, Rob? Tell him. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> he said that the employees should greet you with "Welcome to China." Get your shit and get out. Which, if you don't know, is a reference to um, that puppet guy. But it's true because where else is this shit from? Oh my gosh! Look at all the Dory stuff. Look. Oh my goodness. Look at all of the Dory stuff. Oh, there's more blind bags, Rob. Dory blind bags. Damn, what was the other one you wanted? They have secret there's the turtle. Oh, see, he really wants... He can't wait to see this. And you guys know that we just got a cat. So the secret life of um, pets is going to be really awesome for him. Because it'll mean more now that he has his own animal. Oh, look at it. They have, like, little bath toys, Dayton. Look at the little shark. The little shark from Finding Dory. It's pretty cool. Okay. Dayton. He's been checking out turtles lately, which he hasn't really gotten into, but... Seems like he's starting to like it. Oh, my gosh. Look at the Secret Life of Pets stuff. Oh, my gosh. Look at those giant... Oh, my gosh. Look at that. This thing is the same as that teething toy cost, and it's a huge Nemo. Hey. And a huge Dory. Dan wants to show the huge Dory. Woo! Look at Snowball. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, they have Shopkins. You know, Dan loves them. <gasps> they have the barrels, Rob. Get a couple of those. Those are season five. Season four, season four, season four. Season four. You can never find those. Get a couple of those. Oh my god, that's crazy. You can never find them. They must have just stocked them when we came. How awesome is that? These are also hard for people to find. These shoppies. For the girls. 
Dayton. Look at they have the barrels, bud. Oh my gosh, look. Let's see the surprise ones of them too. Ooh. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna get a couple of the barrels. I'll include a picture of what he got at the end. Alright, should we get a little zoom zoom one too? Just one? Okay. Ooh. Dayton's best friend Mia, she loves Zoom Zooms. That's her favorite surprises. It's kind of funny because, like, Dayton really loves Shopkins and she really loves Zoom Zooms. He's been wanting a hula hoop so bad for so long, but I mean, I think we should wait a little bit longer. Look how little he is compared to that thing. Alright, bud. What? What do they have? Oh my gosh, the mystery machine, Rob. He's so excited. Look, they have an actual mystery machine. That is pretty cool. But it only comes with Fred. I think. Yeah. But look how cool is that? 19. That's not bad. That's like the typical price of like a, a larger toy like that. That's really cool though. Oh, look at baby Secret Life of Pets. That's Mel. I'm hoping they'll have a cat in that movie that looks similar to Cruz. Okay. Oh, we need to get kitten little um, wet food for him. That's what we were gonna do. Oh, here's the Secret Life of Pets. Oh! Oh my gosh, look at Duke. Oh my god, look babe. Oh, he's gonna want that. I know he is. That could be a Nona gift, that little dog down there with the leash. What? Oh, cool. Dayton, grab your barrel. Oh, see, these are in those little packs, Rob. He got the golden one of him. So the golden ones are special. The golden and the um, silver. And he got a gold one of him. So these must be like, oh, you can get them in like the big set. Oh, and I'm talking about this right here. Dayton got a golden um, Duke, the big brown dog, and a surprise bag. So they must sell like the whole set, I guess. It, like not the whole set, but like you can get some of them. Chloe is cute. I'm, I'm wondering if she's gonna be the closest thing to Cruz. And like, I mean, for like cats, maybe there'll be more cats. I don't know yet. Can't wait to see that movie. And Dory. We got a couple. Usually we only see like two a year. And Dayton's only seen in theaters three movies so far in his lifetime, um, which have been The Peanuts, Minions, and um, Angry Birds, which are all super great. And we usually don't go unless we know like it's probably going to be a pretty good movie because it's so expensive to go to the theaters these days. And the theater we go to has a, um, they have, like, lounge chairs. I don't know if, like, Dayton would even, like, deal with the ones that you have to, like, force down. Yeah, we probably do need a cart. A little hand one. If you see a little hand one, bud, tell us, okay? If there's one just, like, sitting around. That one. Oh, I guess you, yeah, use that. I think that they're stocking right now. Okay, I guess I'll take you guys to help us pick out um, little kit and cat food. Freaking Dan, look at him. Don't mind Rob, he just got done working all day, so, you know. Man's gonna be dirty after working on cars all day. Oh yes, Dan, you. Oh, by the way, okay. So I was saying in the beginning, what? The Oh, yeah, we passed it. Oh, my gosh, look, hold on. Dory's on everything, by the way, just saying, but here's Kleenex. <laughs> um, I hope it's not too, like, shaky, the video. But, um, anyways, I was going to show you, because I think I'm going to make this the one of those tiny but mighty vlogs. And so I usually, like, try to put an outfit of, of the day and then, like, a haul in it, so, like, this will work. But I wanted to show you, like, obviously, I'm it's late, so I'm just in... I hope I didn't block the speaker too much, either. 
because it's kind of my first time like vlogging in the store and like I'm holding it and it kind of my hands hurting. But anyways, I wanted to show you I have my baby Bjorn with its um, baby Bellamy, I think, case on it. And I got this on offer up for $35, which is an amazing deal as well. Isn't that awesome? And I know it's Cheetah, but like his name is Leo. <laughs> my son's name is Leo, so I could get away with the Cheetah. There's no pink on it, you know? But anyways, yeah. And then um, I have my red leather jacket on and just like a little... Sorry. I'm, I'm trying to show you. It's so hard. Um, just like a white and gray striped um, shirt, tank, like strappy. Can't really see. Yeah, just strappy. And then um, just black sweatpants and black slippers. And then little Leo finally fell asleep. Poor baby's teething so bad. I hope some of these things work. Okay, so we're here in the cat food. Sorry again, like, I know it's probably shaky, but here we're in the cat food aisle. I was looking up what the best um, kitten cat foods were, and they said that blue buffalo and the Purina kitten ones, but I'm not seeing that. I'm seeing Friskies, Fancy Feast. Yeah, Walmart really obviously has, like, no selection of stuff. What's wrong, baby? You need to relax. Help us pick out food for your baby. So, I'm going to try and see if I can find kitten stuff here, at least. There's this, Rob. Look at this. Look at these. These look bougie. Okay, too bougie, he says. I'm pretty sure that's the first time I said that today, so... Oh, right here, Rob. I found it. Right here. Look at that. Tender turkey feast for kitten. Yay. Is there another flavor? High five. No. What is it? It's classic. High five. That's it. Okay, so there's one. So get two of these then. Is that it in every brand? Fancy feast kitten. I'm guessing it's going to be pink at the bottom if it's for a kitten. So no, no. I guess they only have turkey flavor. What about over here? If you have a kitten and you recommend anything that's not kitten, but is good for kittens, let me know. But it looks like I'm probably going to have to go to like um, a pet co or something to get something that of more, like more different flavors. Better quality. Yeah, better quality too. Yeah. Okay. Doesn't look like they have anything else. Walmart. Looks like that's it. Walmart's not for kitties. Yeah. Walmart's not for kitties. Little kittens, kittens. Look at all these cool. I can't wait to start getting him like treats and finding out what he loves though. That's gonna be nice. Okay. Can you think of anything else we need, Rob? Mm -hmm. Say hi, babe. No, I can't. Okay. Because they like when you're in the box. You're not going to say hi. <laughs> He's exhausted. Okay. All right. Well, I think I'm going to stop here, and then I'll show. I'll probably add a video in of us at home, trying out the teethers and what Dayton got in his shop pins. So, I'll see you then. I'm going to give Cruzy Baby his first wet food. Ooh, he likes it. Yummy. Sorry for the cracked wall. We live in an old 1950s piece of shit apartment complex, so what do you expect? Was the manager of the book in there? And look at that. There it is. Oh, yeah. You should show how much it actually you used. Show them how much is in there. Okay. Doesn't that look like a lot? Now show them the inside of the can how much there still is. So, actually, this was a pretty good deal. It was 57 cents, I believe. And pretty much, I think that you can get about, like, four meals out of that for him. Because that still seems like a lot that's in the bowl he has right now, the glass bowl. I think I keep covering the speaker. Damn it. Sorry if I covered the speaker at any point in this vlog. Like, really, I'm sorry. But yeah, there's our koozie.
make his face long, oh, cruisy. Yes. He loves it. I'm at home now. We just got the baby down with the Highlands teething tabs. And I wanted to show you real quick the teethers we ended up getting. So this is the one that vibrates. You can hear it vibrating. He already tried the vibrator, but we gave him the Highlands so we, we could get him to, you know, get to sleep a little bit. And then this one right here, because these came with one, two, and three. This one is for all teeth. And this is the one we got for Mr. Dayton right here. And he actually has been chewing on everything lately, which is out of his character. And how do you like it, Boo? Do you like it? Is it helping? Yeah, okay. And then this pink one right here is for uh, the front and middle teeth. And then this purple one that has these nice bristles on it is for the front teeth. They're supposed to soothe, clean, and, um, you know, be good for teething, whatever. <laughs> Yeah, so um, uh, basically yes, this one, so I need that one and this one are for Mr. Leo and possibly, you know, in a, in a few months this will be for Leo too. I need that one. And this blue one that's awesome and has like, it's almost like a hand, but it, you can jam it into the back where your molars grow in is for Dayton. Okay, leave that one there, baby. Sit down, show them. Okay, so we got four little cans of these barrels because these are the season four and we barely got any season four Shopkins. Don't even get me started. I could do like a whole rant about um, freaking Shopkins and how crazy it is to find them. Um, but we got four, and there's three here because one was a complete double. And so, Dayton, what what are you going to do with your complete double? Baby, what did you say you wanted to do with this? Uh, Mia. Mia is Dayton's best, best friend. And the first thing he said when he saw that these were doubles was... Let's give them to someone special, like, who will love them, like my Mia. So, of course, all right, Alana Mama, these are coming your way for Miss Mia. They're super cute. They're these two right here, which are too, so adorable. Look at this. Little cupcake and a uh, jelly bean bag. She'll love them. So, anyways, those are waiting for Miss Mia. She's coming up here on Friday. And then we got two. Let me show you real quick. So, obviously, we got those two as well. Sorry. They stack, so I wanted to show you. Then we got these two, which was a macaroon, which Dayton loves macaroons. And he has a yellow and a blue one, so now he has a purple. And then Fasta Pasta. I'm pretty sure that's Fasta Pasta, not positive, but um, Dayton doesn't have any of those ones. And then one more set, a peppermint here, and then a pancakes here. So yeah, super cute. And then one more thing I didn't show you in the vlog. Right before we left, Dayton grabbed these. Show them, baby. He loves bath time. And so we got him a new bubble bath because he's running low. And he got Dory, of course. Dory. And then he got Chase. He had that Chase. And Chase is a three-in-one. So he's a body wash, shampoo, and conditioner. And watch what happens when Dayton smells it. <laughs> he loves it. It's not super cute. It's adorable. And let me smell this one. Okay, let's see you smell it. Oh. Oh, let me help. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. So those are the things that we got for um, teething and then Dayton. And then I wanted to show you because I was I think I showed you in the vlog, but we got this for Leo. And this was Dayton's favorite thing when he... Obviously, it's a new one. I got it while I was pregnant. Dayton had a strawberry. It was one of his favorite ever teething toys. And so we got that for Leo as well. So now he has a couple little options here. And then Dayton has his. You want to show them again where you can stick that? Show them how far you can stick that in for your back molars. Yeah, right there. Perfect, huh? Okay. Say bye, baby. Bye, baby. <laughs> okay. All right. I'll probably do, like, one more... Um, show of my outfit of the day just because it, this is one of those tiny but mighty vlogs and I wanted to show you one of my lazy like mommy outfits if we're going somewhere like late and we just needed to pick up something so like I was saying before my phone phone cut out again but um I wanted to just do um like a little quick outfit of the day I was trying to show you at Walmart but it was really hard to see with my front pack on with Leo in it and it was cheetah print but it was super cute um but I wanted to show you so I just have 
Um, well, you can see, like, my nursing bra here. Um, obviously, I don't really like that showing. That's why I had the red jacket on. But, um, just a nice... I always wear these over my nursing, um, bras. Like, because they slip down really easy. Not to be, like, TMI. <laughs> I'm sure most of the women watch my channel anyways. Um, so, yeah, I have, like, a million and one of these. I can, you can get them, like, really cheap at Walmart. And they have, like, um, like, a little band underneath. So, it hugs right under the bra. So, even if at night, like, I don't want to wear, like, a sleeping bra, I'll just put a nursing pad in and use this and then just pull it down and lift it up because it has that little band right under it. Love those. Like, I have a million of them. They're really good. They t they can break right here really easily from that tugging, so it's good that they're cheap. And then I just have this, like, you know, just whatever tank because you can move it over really easily. And it kind of hangs down low. And that's why I kind of have the jacket over. Because I wouldn't normally just wear a shirt like this. I'm not that comfortable in it. Like if I was like real skinny and didn't have kids. Like wearing a cute ass bandeau and this would be like pretty hot. But I mean I'm not. I'm a mom. So I'm not trying to. I mean I just don't look that good with my stomach area. You know currently. So um yeah. And then I have leggings on. And there's like a little. It doesn't match. But I thought I'd just show. Because I love skulls and I love cheetah print. But yeah, there's that. Okay, so that's my outfit of the day. And then I just did, um, actually, since I'm in my bathroom, I might as well show you. But my favorite lip liner ever is um, NYX's uh, Nude, which I showed in my 99 cent store haul. It's not from the 99 cent store, but I included it in that haul. But yeah, this is my favorite lip liner. And then on top, I used one of my Madly Mattes. Like I, and that's also, I'll link that in the description bar. But, um, cause I got one of the Madly mats and I told, and I told in that haul wear, but I have the whole Madly mat collection from Clean Color, at least to my knowledge. And this one's 1600, the color, but yeah, I really like the combo. Um, I actually love that lip liner with many, many different lipsticks and glosses cause I just, that lip, that lip liner under everything is just perfect for my skin tone, so and I just did a liner and like easy, just easy stuff. Cause like I said, we were going out late and I didn't want to like take forever to do anything, but all right, that's going to do it for me today, guys. And, um, catch you next time. Good night.